Hey everybody, this is Greg at Smoky Hills Outdoor Store. I'm here with Aaron from GS Trailers. Thanks for coming over and showing us the, the new frames you have. Hey, no problem. We just got her done and uh, we got some new improvements. We want to take you through a little bit and uh, show you what's new and how we're trying to make things better for Ice Castle all the time. Good. So. Good. Yeah, let's take a nice looking frame. Really nice. Thank you. Uh, interesting, we're talking about just some, some of the supports and everything here uh, with the C channels and, and on every one of them. Not angle iron, it's C channel on every support the way it looks all the way across. Yep. And the heavier frame rail itself, the main beams. Yep, we're at six inch. We've got quarter inch form gussets in the corner that go left and right. The uh, floor supports take a lot of that sponginess out of the floor because you've got symmetrical channels. Um, so that really adds to the to the stiffness, to the feel of the house. Good. So so, so I just got my new house. It's on, on a GS frame, it's a galvanized. So I got to play with the pins a little bit, but uh, I guess I'd like more information on it. It sounds really, really interesting and uh, good features. Well, thanks. Uh, what we did is incorporated a travel lock system into the rear axle system of our hydraulic trailers. And what this does is allows you to insert a pin that goes through your crossbar here that will lock, triangulate your rear axles so that you can, uh, if you were to have a failure in your pump system, you can get it up and lock it. Now, if your pump goes out, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a little work to get it up, and we're gonna make a, a how to raise your house without a pump video here shortly. Okay. Um, but once you get that done, it will show you how to get this thing up, uh, pin it, and so you can get home at night. And that's that's our goal is for everybody to get home at night, so. Yeah, so so that'll that'll help out, so as long as they have blocking or something underneath the frame, it'd be easy enough to get a jack under it. Correct. be able to take the pump apart or the ram apart or something and yep. and jack the frame up and lock it. Yep, even as simple as uh, you know just loosening the line so you can allow that fluid to go. Um, but yeah, once you get it up, that pin will go through there. And uh, if I go down a little bit here, I'll show you quick um, how them li holes line up and go by each other. So now we're going in the down position as you're lowering your house. And I'll just go a little bit here. So now if you're uh, bringing your house up, and now them holes line up and allow you to put this pin in. Like so. And then you'd put your clip on the back. Now that locks it and triangulates it. Yeah, it's nice. It's uh, something we haven't seen. That'll be a, a savior. Everybody asks, what happens if my house, the hydraulics don't work on my house? Well, at least Ex that'll be, be able to get it back home and get it fixed there. Exactly. It gives you some options. And then, of course, you know, what do you do with these pins when you're when you're on the lake? We've incorporated into a front nice little pin holder that you can store them in. Same with, yeah. the, same with the ones for the front end. But then don't you have, yeah, a spot for your, your trailer harness to go there too, your plug? Yep, you can put the trailer harness there. we got some holes for some uh, smaller pins. You want to carry some extra ones with you. Um, and that's just part of the new things of our whole front end system, you know, and I, I, I like to call it a system. Uh, let me take you through quick some of the things we've done. Um, in the back, we've actually ran um, a reinforcement plate that goes through the V of the trailer. and reinforces this with 3 inch plates on both sides, um, along with a full 6 inch tall uh, tube going all the way through the middle of the trailer. This is what we determined as one of the uh, more susceptible parts to failure. Um, so we reinforced that. Plus on this post coming up, this is what we've done with our, uh, our new post. It's laser cut and formed. Um, it's actually five inches wide at the bottom going up to four inches. And fully welded to them reinforcement plates that wrap up and around the top of the uh, tube. Um, super strong. So I see here you have bolts going through and no greasers. Right. One of the biggest things that GS Trailers strives on is to make our trailers maintenance free. Um, all our bushings in here are an oil impregnated bronze, bronze bushing. Okay. Um, so that there are no grease zerks. We also have UHMW separators in there. So we're eliminating all that metal on metal contact. Sure. It's a nice fiber bushing. Yep. So that, uh, so, and the nice thing with bolts, is that everything is replaceable now. No cutting torches needed, no nothing. You could literally replace this whole front end on the lake if you had to for some reason someone drove across the lake and 
broke the front of your trailer who knows nice. you know yeah you don't know what happens yep so all yeah. these plate all these pieces can be unbolted and reapplied okay and no grease needed okay nice um another thing we do on the front end is we have a holder for two two pins on track um we figure if you know one's good two is better but what if one falls out or, or wiggles its way out you know it's always good to have a backup sure yep absolutely then on our quarter inch thick wall um front tongue here that uh, we've incorporated into it the new center jacking system with the drop leg jack. Uh, what this does is allows a guy to quickly drop his trailer, find the closest hole, and then you can jack it up um, and not spend so much time going up and down with your jack. That and then you don't get the pivot off the side or on the bigger houses tipping side to side. Correct. You don't get that Correct. sway and yeah. then uh, it sits a lot more stable and um, it's been a great invention for us um, along with, you know, the multiple uh, holes for adjusting your hitch height, um, the cast coupler for, for 15,000 pounds. Um, it's all made for a great system. Yeah, I really like that new coupler. Thank you. So yeah, so that's just some of the things that GS Trailers is, is worked into its design. Um, we're pretty happy with it and uh, we, we think it's going to be the strongest trailer on the market at this time. So yeah, that's good. It's really good. So, well, thank you very much. Well, thanks, Greg. Appreciate yeah. it. And thanks for everybody for watching our video.